In this video, I will discuss the notion of file descriptors in, in the Unix world and in general the operating system world. So a file descriptor is simply an index into the file descriptor table. So what does that mean? So for each process in, in our operating system per process we said that there is going to be a process control block, the PCB. And one of the things inside the PCB, remember the PCB keeps track of the, the context of the process. So one of the fields within this is a structure called or an array called the file descriptor table. So this array internally keeps track of all the resources that the process owns and can operate on. And the resources being the resources that it can the file descriptor table can hold holds pointers to resources. Now I'm using the word resources very loosely because what happens in the Unix world is we create an abstraction. All resources, whether they be files, terminal, terminal input or output, pipes as we will see, which are just communication channels, uh, sockets we will see are communication channels between machines, um, and and there's a few others like this. Any device devices all these if a process opens them or uses them they will have an entry here so every process when it first starts is is given access to three resources three resources are its standard in its standard out and its standard error which means that there are resources within the operating system i'm going to draw them here for now there's resources within the operating system that are the I.O., the input, the output, and the standard error for this process. Uh, for example, if I were op if I were working in a terminal, um, in an extern, extern or terminal, um, then if I were be if I if I have a shell in this terminal, the the I.O. for this is the input is the std in, the output is std out, and the and the std error is in this case it will be the same thing as a terminal. Uh, now, if there was a different process, uh, if there was I open two terminals, let's say uh, terminal one and terminal two, which are two different processes now, then this terminal will have its own standard in and a standard out because it's a different terminal from that. So in some sense, these are virtual devices. Now, if I were to create a file, so if I were to do something like file descriptor uh, equals open, uh, actually I'll use a create instead of open for now. So if I were to use create and I want to create a file called foo dot text let's say and I'm gonna give it some permissions I'm gonna give uh, uh, we'll, you'll figure out what these mean uh, later on let's say so we're giving some permissions it's a uh, how we want this file to be um, accessible who can access it and who can write to it who can read from it who can execute it so for now I created this file so if I were to do that then my fi file descriptor table is gonna get a third entry the third entry, my, my third entry here is now going to point to an internal resource that is called the file, um, it's called a file structure that the system creates for this. And somewhere in here there will be a pointer saying that this guy points to something on my 
disk which holds the information about foo.txt. But from here onwards, when I want to read write to this, let's say I want to write to this function, uh, this uh, this file, I would use this resource as my handle, this index as my handle. I would say something like fd, and I want to read, let's say, uh, print the string hi, and it's two bytes. I would say something like that. So this becomes my handle to that resource for the rest of my program. Uh, let's take an example to see what else I can do here. So here's an example. I'm going to print a bunch of different devices, uh, uh, resources that I have. So let's blow this guy up a little bit. Uh, so I'm pr printing the file descriptor table from within the process. I'm using a little uh, trick to do that. So what you will see here is I, uh, it's going to show a file descriptor process file descriptor table, a descriptor pointer and description. The first thing I'm doing is printing the index. This is, this will be zero for us because that's the zero right there. And this is actually the pointer. Remember the file descriptor table we looked at. So we're saying here is the index zero one two and so on and because we don't want to have to remember that the operating system gives us a, a, a hash defined for the zero which is std in so we don't have to memorize it that's std out underscore file number std errors file number but what you will find inside here is the std in so std in is also given to you by the operating system and it's the pointer that's sitting there because there are function there are functions that you uh, called some require a file descriptor some require a file pointer so this is a file pointer this is the this is a file pointer and this is the file descriptor so I'm printing these three entries. It says once the terminal's input device, terminal's output device, and other is a terminal's error device. Now I'm creating two files. One is I'm creating a file which is uh, uh, open. If it doesn't exist, we'll create it. If it already exists, then it'll um, then it'll just open it. So I'm, I have an open. I'm reading one file for input, one file for output, and I'm going to print there. ID so IFB is just a file descriptor now so this will be a 3 because that's the next one I created and what you will find here is the address 0x in this case it says it's a 0x11f4420 which is basically a pointer to a file structure within which there is again indication as to where it is on my on my hard drive so there is a there is in dot text right there that it points to. Uh, similarly, I'm printing what the structure for what what it's pointing to for four. And now I'm creating a pipe. We'll look more. We'll see more about the pipe. But a pipe is a file descriptor table also. So it pipe is uh, a simple structure that has two ends. Uh, one is the right end, the other is the read end. This happens to be in this example. This happens to be the pipe FB of 1 and pipe FD of 0 is the read end. Uh, that's just the convention. We usually make 0 to be the read and 1 to be the write. So I created a pipe here and now I'm going to print their values. So I'm using this, uh, I'm printing out what that is. So that happens to be 4 right now. So this table, this happens to be a value of 4. Uh, if you see this index, this is 0, 1, this happens to be 4, and this happens to be 5. So 4 would have the pointer to the read end of it, and this would have the pointer to the right end of it. Uh, I'm also using a, a little trick to get the pointer so that I can print it, and I'm using this function called fdopen. An fdopen function takes of a file descriptor and returns a file pointer returns a file pointer that is the contents of that that's it